Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another prehistoric dinosaur showcase. Uh, this is the very latest prehistoric evolved, uh, uh, basically the new Curse Feast uh, add-on. Uh, now, one of the first problems I ran into with this add-on, and I will say it, is we're in this world, I'll show you the seed in a minute, but uh, in the Minecraft bedrock, snow biomes are quite rare <laughs> this is the fourth world i created to to try and find a snow biome as you can see here we're at 96 chunks because i'm able to do it there's ice biomes but no snow biomes which is over there and the thing is this add-on with these creatures they spawn in the snow biomes which is quite good really because the previous uh, prehistoric evolved add-ons spawned all sorts of creatures in all the other biomes so it's good that uh, they actually stick to biome but when you set up your world you need to be very careful whether you've got a snow biome anywhere near because I'm already traveled I've already traveled from over there in flying mode to get where I am so it's quite an interesting thing this and uh, right so you want to know what the seed is for this world because it has got a snow biome uh, if we come down here, guys, to see, there's the seed, 388-677-398. So I've left the settings on uh, to find a snow biome. So we're going to head over there anyway. Uh, the big issue for me is uh, I might not spawn the creatures in right by the snow biome. I just want to see how they spawn as part of the showcase. So we have got 15. I think we've got 15 creatures, 15 new creatures again. There are so many creatures in Prehistoric Evolved. And if you've seen my previous videos, these are a bit different. Oh, this is a proper snow biome. Look at this. Massive snow biome. That's pretty damn good. Right, let's get cracking then. Right, guys, sneak peek. Yes, the dinosaurs are spawning. And one other cool thing, and the, I will show them all close up and personal, but the dinosaurs are showing. These are super duper uh, creatures. Look at this. There's ice. There's a frozen dinosaur in ice, which is pretty damn good. Uh, this has got a village here. Oh, it's one of the flying dinosaurs. That's the thing with this uh, add-on, guys. Oh, I've got it at 96 chunks. I need to turn the chunks down. Nice village in the centre of this uh, ice biome as well, which is really good. And you've got a nice spikes biome over there. So for this particular add-on, this world has got... Oh, wow, it goes all the way over there. Uh, you just have to probably create worlds until you want, but you've got to think about if you're going to put all these add-ons, all the prehistoric evolved add-ons, you need to think about this in terms of an ice biome to be able to, if you're in survival. But there we go. Right, without further ado, let's get cracking with these creatures. Right, guys, so I deliberately haven't got all the other add-ons installed all together to show off these creatures. And look, this one's now crept out of the biome, but it looks pretty damn good. Anyway, we'll get to that afterwards. So first up, guys, we've got the Yugorana Luke. Uh, oh, look at that. Now, is that a baby one? Or is that a big one? Hey, finally get a big one after the babies. Oh, wow, sir. Again, we got this, all the prehistoric evolved have got really good models. They've got good animations as well compared with a lot of add-ons. Uh, I do like the color of this. That's really nice. That's a really good color scheme. I've also seen improvements with things like eyes and stuff as they obviously the maker Sebas evolved has like evolved his style. Uh, I hope it's a he. Apologise if it's not. It doesn't say anything here. I uh, haven't heard a voice. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, this is a super creature to start off with. I like that. It's a good addition. I love all the colours and everything on it. That's a lot of good artwork there. The, the number of dinos and creatures that have been produced uh, by Sebastian is unbelievable. Right. Trinosaura. Oh, whoa, it's a blue one. Now this means, ah, that's not too big, is it? That's like a little baby one. These are, the, I like these colour schemes. These are like, uh, you know, that that's pretty, there's not out, there are some out there colour schemes, but that's really nice. Really, really nice. That looks like the adult one. Look at that. I like the fact that all the models and all the add-ons breathe really nicely. 
Yeah, it's definitely the fact if you are add The one other thing, this uh, is only on Mediafire at the moment. It's not on MC Pedal. Uh, so what you have to do is go to Sebastian's uh, YouTube page on this video, and I'll give a link in the description and download it. Uh, and then it'll probably become a, because it's like only been out just very recently. But it works with all the other add-ons, guys, so you can have a complete world full of dinos in creative and... Uh, survival. I do like this. These are really good. It's really good. Right. A Pukudaki. Oh, this is one of the flying ones. Wow. <laughs> look at the colours. How? Look at the little dots. That is something I've never seen. That that is something I haven't seen. Now that's these 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 are really good skins. Uh, I think I would like you to go back to your prehistoric evolved, your original release, and update some skins for us, please. These are most excellent, and that the flying animations, as you can see here, guys, that is awesome. That is that's one of the best flying creatures I have seen in a long time. It's almost like a, a phoenix. I would describe it as a phoenix, but it's like a, a, a prehistoric phoenix. That is just awesome. Again, so I keep getting blown away by all the creatures in this, in these add-ons. And you did see it was walking when it when it first got spawned in. Wow! And the legs move when it flies. Impirabator. Oh, baby ones as well. Oh my lord. These are really nice. I, I must admit, I'm, really, I'm much more impressed than I would I thought I would be. But I've been impressed with this particular group of add-ons from start to finish. I think it's, I think as a collective add-ons, it's up there, definitely up there in top five for Bedrock and PE. And this just improves things. These are really good. They're not as like garish as some of the other releases. They're really more subtle, but really nice, really nice skins. And you see the animation, it's almost like it's it's grabbing food and or is it a cry? And really guys, thanks for all the comments as well. I love all the comments because obviously I don't know about all these different dinosaurs and whether they're real or hybrids. These are real. You are just stealing the show. Again, another great skin we haven't got to yet, so I don't even know what you're called. A Nana Quasaurus. Oh, this is the white one. This was over here. We saw it over here in the background, just hiding away in the snow. So we can go and show you this in the snow. I like this because up from above, you can't see it. So for attacking flying creatures, but for the ones below, you can see it. That's like a cross. It's like a beaked, beaked dinosaur. Really nice. Now, I wonder whether, I mean, obviously there's, there's a lot of different skins and models, so some of them may be similar the fact is that when we show all these the, the creatures are definitely different and and they've had been tweaked to supply for the chase but it's like this has got these fins or feathers on the side i think looking at that flying creature and how good this person is at feathers i think this is something that have a few more feathered dinos i think that looks really cool i like that right Oh, Leonosaura. This is a proper, proper. Most of these are actually proper dinosaurs, by the way, in this add-on. <gasps> oh, that's interesting because we've seen a similar, similar colours. Wow. That is really high quality. I, I mean, you can see, guys, that all the animations are just great. It just, like, brings them alive. And it keeps that Minecraft feel. Nice models. Right. A grey lichen. This is, is this one of those big tally birds on two legs? What do we think? What do we think? Hey! Oh, look at the baby. Absolutely brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at those feet. It's just like, it's just like, I mean, the birds, you'd expect them. Oh. Uh, the, yeah, it's just like all so far I mean, we've seen all the all the textures are absolutely brilliant this is just an awesome 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 add-on glaciosaurus ah ha ha oh, we saw that creeping over before oh there's a blue one as well 
Yes, I probably miss I probably miss some of the colours, guys, because I don't usually spawn loads in, but that was just luck. A glaciosaurus. Are you liking water? Do you like fish? Is that what it is? Again, high detailed model and skins. Go and see the this one over here. Oh look at the pink eyes, didn't notice that before. Bright pink eyes. And they've all got noises, they've all got animations. Well, most have got noises for all of them. But oh, look at that's eating. Eating animation. Wowzer. Right. Ooh, hold on. Ah, this might be some food stuff. That's the that's the thing. So like in, like in previous versions, uh, they did meat, you did plants, you did fishes. This is like uh, like a model you can just place down on the ground. Oh, there's, there's, that's the one before, isn't it? Oh yeah, it sinks in. Look at that. It sinks in. Now, I wondered whether or not there must be something because all the others are interactable, like their eggs. So there must be something you can interact with that, which I'm not sure about. Right, let's get the uh, last batch of creatures up. This is amazing. So this has got six creatures left. So if we, there was fourteen there, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, because we had that uh, glacier thing. Oh, I've seen these before in the pictures. Again, love it. Love all the. Uh, is there any? Is there only one color of these? This could do with. Uh, you, this would be a good one to have for a couple of different skins, different skin colors, like a reddish one as well. Maybe because it's blue and it's ice. Uh, not as subtle as the other skins, really bright and garish, but again, completely different. But this is one uh, dino that we have not. We've not seen very often in any dinosaur mods or uh, or add-ons uh, because uh, because probably because of the horns, but uh, and all the 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 scales, as I say, horns or scales, whatever it is. But this looks really good, really impressive. I'm glad to see that loads. We've got loads of new species in this particular uh, add-on as you go through them. Right, Dr oh, Draco Tontosaurus. This sounds big and nasty. Oh my word! Look at that. Oh, it's like a Stiggy on steroids. <laughs> Stiggy on steroids. Oh my gosh. Oh, it sits down as well. Wow. Now this is. Look at the quality. I've just so. It's got like a dragon head, such high quality. Imagine having dragons. That's something you could have a dragon expansion. I think Sebastian could do a dragon expansion. They have, you know, if that looks, if you had a dragon that looks like that, unbelievable. I'm just absolutely blown away by that one. That is just got to be. That's got to be on the uh, on the picture. That's just awesome. All these are babies. Hey, let's have a look at that. That is awesome. Really well thought out skin. Uh, you could, what well, good you could do though is you could go for a, like a, a darker and a brighter red headed, you know, like a red headed one. That is really high quality. Really, really, really excellent. Right. Cryo Dracon. We saw this on the ice. This is a big bird. Now, again, this. On the previous uh, prehistoric evolved add-ons, the flying creatures are one of the outstanding things uh, because a lot of mods and add-ons get them wrong. Do you fly or you just walk around? Can I hit you? That's interesting, actually. That's I haven't seen one. Uh, yes, we did see one flying before. We did. They'll probably take off after. Hey, there we go. But I like the fact they walk around as well. Nice colours again. Uh, we don't get any babies, do we, of the flying one? I've not seen babies of the flying ones. Look at those feet. <laughs> You'd be dead in two seconds, wouldn't you? If you come across one of these nests. <laughs> right, Cryodraken. Cryodraken. What's a Cryodraken? Oh, it's the one I've just done. I've just done two eggs the same. That's silly. Silly me. Uh, silly me, yes, that was silly me. Right, okay. 
So, Antarctica Pel... <laughs> Good name. Good name, guys. Good name. <gasps> oh, to... Wow. It just it just has been for me. Oh, it's 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 like crouching down. Just for me, there has been an up uptick in the uh, skins. Really bright and garish, but it's really excellent. That'll look good in the snow, won't it? <laughs> and an Alaska cephalail. Oh, it's a cephalo pack of cephalosaurus. Is that the size? Yes, that's the big one. So again, looking at the these skulls and the high quality models, that is brilliant. Wow. So what a brilliant expansion to go on with the other prehistoric evolved. Absolutely brilliant. The number of creatures have been turned out in the last 12 months is amazing. Right, we're going to switch over to finish off. We're going to switch over to ray tracing. Wow. These are the dig shaders. Dig ray tracing. I just wanted to show both off in this video. But the creatures look absolutely awesome, to say the least. Flying around. I've got a bit of slow down because I'm sort of flying around dead fast. I want to go and see. So these were the, like I call them, the dragon beasts. The colours are even brighter, guys. They're even brighter. I always put these two together. <laughs> oh wow! They like to. These would like to go on the water. Amazing. Wow. Right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. This has been an excellent uh, add-on. I highly recommend all the prehistoric evolved add-ons. Uh, I'll see information description of where to go to find out more information. Uh, where did that one come from? I've missed one. I've missed one, guys. Right, okay. I've missed one. What is that? So this is the cryo Flosaurus. There's two of them. Can't believe I left these out. Good job you watched it. Because that's that super one we missed before. Let's get some adult stuff. Come on. There we go. So we got this one. This again, we did see it, didn't we? Sneak peeked. It sort of stole the show over there and walked in. But oh my God, it's amazing. Another amazing. So be, at least I remember got that in before the end. It's always good to go and have a check. So I love that skin. But then obviously there's the blue skin as well, which is just as excellent for the ice. I swear. Wowzer. Wowzer. Cryless or sort of cry. Cryophosaurus, very nice. I think, which one do I like? This is really good. Uh, and I like this one as well. So it's like brilliant, isn't it? I love the fact they do more than one. So these are the Kelly shaders, guys. Uh, keeps a standard standard fitting. It's almost, these are more like the uh, Java ray tracing shaders. So I thought we'd go and finish off over here. This is the missing dino that I forgot about. The Cryolophosaurus that we missed out because I've got two of these eggs instead. Uh, wow. I'm just amazed at that, guys. So, yeah, it looks really good in ray tracing. Of course, you need an RTX card, guys. That's, is that just like sitting in the sand? That's a bit weird. But look at the model. It just, oh, even the, it all moves. It's just great. So, you can see they're just like uh, all around in here. There's also a special mode called terrify mode go and check out Sebastian's youtube page it talks about where you can have certain creatures to protect other creatures it's really interesting uh, concept never seen before uh, but as you can see these rtx shaders are really nice i prefer the dig ones over the kelly's ones but it's a personal choice uh, the fact is that what I like about these freeware ones is you don't have shiny grass like on some of the other uh, RTX shaders. I call them shaders, but they're, they're whatever. So this village is here. 
very nice eating all sorts of food see the one big problem is when you come into the world you're gonna have to protect your village because these will eat everything this is very much like a raptor i love the way its feet sink into the snow oh everybody's feet sink into the snow really cool right guys well there you go thanks very much we had a couple of hiccups on the way but there we go thanks very much for watching this is one amazing add-on